So this is Venice, Italy. Ricky, take a seat. Hello. Your boy was nervous, you know what I'm saying? Like, we here. I was nervous the whole ride during this gondola ride. I was praying, I was talking to God, I was trying to like keep. <gasps> this is no boat. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. They have the boats to different places. So this is Venice, Italy. All right, great people. So now we are just walking about the city, about the town. Now, if you saw my previous video before, this is where I had the interest to run in with the people here, just trying to get an understanding of like the different tours and things that you can see. However, I will say if you are looking to visit Venice on a cruise or maybe, you know, just for relaxation purposes, a lot of the sites or the tours last about three hours minimum, upwards of like eight hours, truth be told. And so we only had maybe two and a half hours at this here port. So we just decided to walk for it, to go for it, to walk for it and see what we can see and so that is what you all are seeing here which is all very interesting right because there's a lot of water all around and so some of my thought is like if it's high tide if the water is high is it in this area as well which i mean there's a lot of green around so it gives me the vibes that maybe once upon a time there could have been water in this area or maybe there's parts of the year where it is however it was a pretty cool city to walk through uh, Ricky and Rain were enjoying themselves playing various games and things like that as we walked about but at the end of the day like it's uh, amazing how all of these homes and structures and things are built along the water uh, kind of gives you like New York vibes in a sense but at the same time like no because there's this whole water channel that's running through the various homes and things like that and even as we walk around we'll see at the various buildings boats that are at docks that give access to maybe homes or businesses or even grocery stores right there and it's like man these people are walking or boating not too much right driving cars and even in this area i didn't even see anybody on a motorcycle or a bike or anything like that whereas in like mykonos where it was tight walkways with no cars there were people on like trikes that were riding through the city and what not but as you can see there are shops to the left uh, boats to the right gondolas and all those things as well but there's even this large large church I believe it was a Catholic church that will let you hear the bell ring and all those things pertaining to it however if you're not walking around on the sidewalks there's those bridges to the right that you walk over the channels on which we will do that not too long from now but even before we get to the gondola ride, let us let you hear the sounds of Venice, Italy, when there's a church bell ringing. How about that? Yeah.
Ini dia aman saja. Yes, indeed. And even just walking around at the various stop, shops and stores that we're showing you all, I forgot how like masks are a big deal and big thing here in Italy, right? The various parties and things that you may see on movies and shows is honestly like a real thing because there's a lot of mask stores here, which is very interesting to us and for me. But nonetheless, in it all, it's also a reminder of how old this city is like very very old at least this part is maybe all of venice isn't quite like this however the part that we're able to just walk to uh is very very old and speaking of we were able to walk to this area from the port itself and so if you are looking to cruise to venice you'll be able to walk from where your boat is to where we currently are and all the various sites that you're seeing and you'll be able to do your main thing right now truth be told this is like the main strip of where all the tours are like it feels like it it looks like it because it is and so all the people that you're seeing just walking about pretty much are tours just seeing the site seeing the shop seeing the stores which very nice stuff i mean it is italy so and very nice clothing very nice purses and so forth and so on i didn't really see any luxury stores per se or any stores that i recognize that we recognize it was pretty much local type spots but nonetheless they had what you want if you wanted a mask go to venice italy right but i mean i'm sure you would do more if you found yourself all the way in venice italy however quite a few people here um just because it's a place to be but then as well you know our cruise was here and i believe we were the only cruise ship that was at dock at this specific location at this specific time however the beautiful homes and then we found this gondola driver and he's gonna take us for a ride so let's get the gondola <laughs> Ricky, take a seat. Hello. Kind of right. say that I'm enjoying this, I'm not going to lie. You say you can't say you're enjoying it. No. Florida. 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 This is the part of Venice, very quiet. We well, don't have many traffic, and uh, the the tip is only two meters. Yeah. Okay. In the Grand Canal is a five meter. Okay. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna speed through this bad boy until we get to the main outshoot. 
I mean, it is what it is, various homes and things like that. However, as we are going on our gondola, there's one behind us that our gondola driver is talking to their gondola driver. So it was cool. It was like, you know, it gave us as a family a time to talk, whereas in he and his friend were able to talk and socialize and things like that. One of the things that he shared with us, if you all missed it, is that nobody lives on the first floors because those usually flood um, throughout the year or whatever whatnot and so housing is from the second floor up which i found to be very interesting right um because that's something that you don't think about or consider when looking at venice or pictures and things thereof and as you saw a boat just went by and we kind of like stopped went to the side so that their current and wake didn't disrupt what we had going on because your boat was nervous you know what i'm saying like we here i was nervous the whole ride during this gondola ride i was praying i was talking to god i was trying to like keep steady because my family my kids are looking at me and we like close to this wall all i'm thinking is like bro don't tip over you got one job like you don't even have to tell us about nothing just focus on this water and keep us out of it at the end of the day but uh yeah it was another friend of his that was in front of us you could see him looking at us because they talking but we out to yep. the main area now Yes, remember we saw cars when we crossed the street. Yeah, closer to the port, closer to the boat. Say that again. Look, I see what you mean, Ricky. What? The bird. That bird, Ricky. That's a nice bird. I need that one. Yeah, that one, yes. Because it has a shield on it, too. Yep. I feel secure in that. It thundered. It started thundering. We'll be all right. In the left floor, we have to be here. Okay. Yes. Today yes. is more busy. This is Sunday. Is have a lot of person. Ah. Uh, the day normally is more quiet. Really? Yeah. So this is very quiet to us. Okay. <laughs> quiet. Grand Canal have a lot of boats because of the transport. The merchant. This is no boat. The Jones family has made it to Venice, France. Oh, excuse me, Italy. <laughs> Venice, Italy. It's been a whirlwind, a day. That's why you don't know what country you're in. <laughs> True.